Hi, everyone. It's John DeLynn. Uh, it is March 3rd, 2021. And today is a super exciting day. And so I have an announcement and a request, and both are really important. The announcement is that today uh, I am super excited to announce uh, that a new documentary uh, has been released by Netflix. And the documentary is called uh, Murder Among the Mormons. And it is a documentary uh, created by Jared Hess, the uh, um, the creator, director, writer of Napoleon Dynamite, and uh, who's a dear friend, and my dear friend, um, Tyler Meesum, who is the director of several Mormon-themed documentaries, including Sons of Perdition, uh, An Honest Liar, and a really cool MTV docu documentary uh, that isn't Mormon-related, but it's just super cool. Anyway... Um, you know, so many of us for so many years, if not decades, you know, have been uh, it, wanting the Mark Hoffman story to finally be told, you know, you know, in a documentary or a dramatization on TV or on the screen. And today it's finally happened. March 3rd, go to Netflix. Murder Among the Mormons has been released. It's a three hour, three part documentary. And it is super well done. And I honestly cannot uh, imagine of two better people to do this than Jared Hess, who's brilliant and well-connected and funny and fair uh, and a, just a kind, funny uh, professional. And Tyler Meesum, who is, in my view, the best Mormon documentary filmmaker on the planet. So it's released. It's out. I've seen it. It is fair. It is balanced. It is thoughtful. It is meaningful, it is important, and you all need to go see it right now. Um, that is the first thing that I need to announce. Go see this documentary. Uh, the second thing that I want to announce is that for any of you who uh, want more backstory on the documentary, of course, I've interviewed Brent Metcalf, who is featured in this documentary. Um, I've also interviewed Sandra Tanner who is featured in this documentary. And I think I've even interviewed at some point or someone affiliated with me has interviewed um, uh, Kurt Bench. But anyway, uh, there are several Mormon Stories podcast episodes. If you want some more backstory on the Mark Hoffman thing, I'm going to share links to them uh, in this post so that you can watch them. But check it out. This, the third thing I want to announce is that this documentary is... Um, believing fr believer friendly. It's it's Mormon friendly. Uh, it's Orthodox Mormon friendly. You should all know that that Richard Turley, who is assistant church historian, this is the same dude who went with uh, who went with Marlon Jensen on the Swedish rescue. He was assistant church historian, and he became later um, managing director of LDS Church Public Affairs. Richard Turley is, participates in this documentary. He's interviewed on it. He's thoughtful, he's funny, he's witty, he's amazing. And uh, the church was supportive in, in giving footage to uh, Jared and Tyler, as I, as I understand it, in this documentary, whether it's KSL or LDS Church Archives. Like, I'm not saying that, like, the church endorses this documentary. No, I'm not saying that. But I am saying that um, there, was, there was at least some friendly relationship between the filmmakers and the church on this documentary, and it's fair, it's fair and balanced. Jared Hess and Tyler are professionals, and they care about things being fair and balanced. So I think it's safe to say, it's my opinion, and I've seen it, that this documentary does not have an ax to grind. It's not out to destroy the church. It's fair and balanced, and um, it's something that I think you can all feel comfortable um, sharing with believing family and friends. That's the third thing. The fourth thing is I am planning some super cool interviews with uh, with with both Jared and Tyler and with others. I'll be announcing that soon. But here's where I need your help. I would love it if you would watch the documentary and come to mormonstories.org to this post and share your reactions, share what you loved about it, share what you didn't love about it, share your questions about it. I am going to use your questions and feedback in my interviews, both with Jared and, and with directors, Jared and Tyler, but also in my discussions with anyone else that I interview. So if you're willing, please go to mormonstories.org 
and and share your feedback uh, as you watch it. I also want it to be sort of a public record of progressive and post-Mormons reactions to this documentary. I think that will be useful and interesting. So please consider doing that um, if you're willing right now. That would be really uh, meaningful to me. Um, and, and then finally, just watch out for my coming interviews uh, on this Mark Hoffman documentary and on, on Mark Hoffman. I think they're going to be useful and valuable. And if you have any ideas of interviews that I can do related to this documentary, please email me at mormonstories at gmail.com or message me on Facebook. I would love that feedback. Anyway, this documentary is huge. Check it out. Again, shout out to Jared and Tyler for your support for this great doc. Thanks to everyone on Mormon Stories Podcast for your support. Please stay tuned for more. We'll see you guys as soon. And please, again, check out Murder Among the Mormons. It's fantastic. Thanks, everybody. Take care. And we'll see you guys soon with more great stuff on Mormon Stories Podcast. Bye.